The video is on cleaning the encoder wheel assembly at the back of the printer. Um, the reason for cleaning it is if there is an issue with the bed movement or registration, you get a paper jam error um, or a PF error, motor error. <clears throat> and um, we're going to walk through, I'll describe in detail what I'm, what I'm doing each step of the way. First thing we're going to do is power the printer off. I'm going to push the red button, discage the power. We're going to go ahead and unplug the USB cable, set that aside, unplug the power cable, set that aside. Make sure you grab a Phillips screwdriver. Isopropyl alcohol. And I have a paper towel here to clean and wipe the encoder wheel assembly. So let's go ahead, we will loosen up this little bracket that holds it in place. I'm going to move that set to the side. Unscrew the Phillips screws, set that aside. And you see here, once it's unscrewed, this will drop down. So I'm going to hold this after the, the last screw. So that's the last screw. And sit, set the side. So it actually will tilt and slide out just like that. And you're going to see if there's any excess oil, you want to make sure you clean that off. That's not good for for anything that will leak to the back. So I'm gonna set this on top of the printer right now. This is a whole encoder reel assembly. <clears throat> there are imprinted lines in here that register on the actual uh, PF sensor right here. So you wanna ensure that nothing, there's no dirt or anything on it. And this, there's no oil or, de or debris. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna take the isopropyl alcohol <clears throat> just make sure it's a little damp and I actually will pinch it right about here and then slowly spin the gear so what in fact I'm doing is I'm actually cleaning both sides of it I'll do a few rotations of that um, it's not going to be very very dirty normally this process would be performed at the four to six month mark um, same thing for the 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 PF sensor and you see that just a little bit of oil came off of that so that's not a good sign so I just make sure that that is wiped cleanly as well um, you take you can also take a compressed air can and blow that on there just to ensure that there is no dust on the sensor which we're going to do as well <coughs> and then the other important item we're going to inspect is a timing belt See here, when I squeeze the timing belt, see how much give it has? It's, it's about a, a two to three millimeter give. If it's too loose, you're gonna get paper jams. If it's too tight, you're gonna get paper jams as well. So this is an important part of the movement of the actual uh, drivetrain for the actual, for the bed itself. So you wanna check that. Uh, if you need to be tightened and loosened, it's just held with two Phillips screws, which you'd loosen, uh, re-secure, the, the DC motor and then tighten up again. Aside from that, uh, don't forget, make sure the oil doesn't leak to the back here. So I'm gonna wipe off any excess oil at the back rail here. And <clears throat> to put it back together, just take the cover again. We're gonna, I'm gonna actually tilt it out this way. And don't forget that little bracket. And then feed it in. Line up the two the Phillips screw holes, turn that, and then screw it back in place with the screwdriver and the Phillips screws. <clears throat> 